there welcome to inquiring minds my name is doug and i'm back with today's fountain pen review these two asvine p20 piston fillers in my favorite finishes amber is a cat and galaxy i've been a long time fan of pen bbs and the pen bbs finishes amber is a cat and galaxy are by far my favorites i know i shouldn't call this asvine amber is a cat but i'm convinced it's the same rod stock that pen bbs and moon man share I've already reviewed the Asvine P20 piston filler, and you can see that review by clicking right up here. So today I'm going to compare these two new finishes on the P20 with my two favorite non-piston filling fountain pens, the Moonman M800 in Galaxy and my Leonardo Memento Zero in Blue Hawaii. I'm also going to take the Amber P20 apart and do some nib and piston swapping. So let's get started right now. So another package from China where the tracking doesn't line up with the tracking that I've got on the sale. But I've got a pretty good idea what this is. So let's open it up right now. And that's why it was such a big bundle because it's two ass lines. I ordered these two because they are new materials for the P20 ass bean. Asvine, Asvine, and I couldn't resist them because they are Galaxy and Amber. Let's open them up and see. This one is, doesn't say the color, just P20. Well, let's find out. This is the Galaxy. You can tell. See? By the process of elimination, this is the Amber. Let's take a look at the Amber first. We have, there's the pen, our instruction manual on how to fill a pen with a converter and a piston filler and so forth. And the cool thing is it's in English. Look at that. There it is. Beautiful. This is the same rod stock, it seems to me, uh, that Moon Man used on their M800. I would show you my Amber M800, but it's in the shop right now getting a nib tuned. And there's our medium gold nib. Very nice at the ink window. And it's a RP20 piston filler that we've seen. And here is the Galaxy. Okay, that's gorgeous. Yes, the amber is pretty, but the Galaxy takes me away to another Galaxy far, far away. Prepare to fast forward! Prepare to fast forward! Fast forward! Fast forwarding, sir! No, 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 go past this, past this part. In fact, never play this again. Isn't that beautiful? Gold-colored nib. The Leonardo-style clip. Look at the sparkle on that. Let's look at them both together here. Gorgeous, gorgeous material. So, I have to choose some inks. I already know what I want to put in these pens. And we'll put the pens through their paces. And we'll do yet another Asvine P20 review. Pen BBS people call that Amber is a Cat. Something to look forward to. Since I've already reviewed the Asvine P20, you can get the up close parts and features by clicking on this video right up here. I want to do a head to head comparison between these two new finished Asvine P20s and two of my favorite pens my Leonardo Momento Zero Blue Hawaii and my Moon Man. M800 in Galaxy. And I will do a writing sample with both of these pens and then talk about what I like and what I don't like so much about the pens. It's amazing to me how the finish of a pen can affect how you feel about it in your hand and while writing. Here is my first Asvine P20 in this purple swirl. It's a nice pen and I gave it an excellent review. I compared it immediately to the Narwhal Schoolkill Dragonette Sapphire. I think they're very similar and they do share nib units and pistons as I showed in this comparison video you can see right up here. But until the Asvine arrived in this Galaxy finish I never compared it to the Moon Man M800 Galaxy or to the pen the Moon Man M800 copies the Leonardo Momento Zero. 
seen here in blue Hawaii. If you've been watching my channel, you may know that I've been asking, suggesting, and begging Leonardo to make a Momento Zero as a piston filler. Yes, they have some incredible piston fillers, but they are all in the grande size. I think a Momento Zero size with a piston would be a runaway hit for Leonardo. But now that I see this P20 in Galaxy, next to the M800 and the MZ Blue Hawaii, I think they've been beaten to the punch. And indeed all the finishes on the P20 are now available with medium nibs. And let me tell you folks, I was immediately impressed with how these pens write right out of the box. But let's get to the head-to-head -head comparison first. I don't like relying on just my first impressions because you can see how swayed I might be just by the look of the pen. I like to put some empirical data into a spreadsheet and rate and weight some of the more subjective data to get the spreadsheet to point to what my true impressions of the candidates truly are. So again, I've made a little geeky spreadsheet. I've made 12 categories and either ranked them or given them scores. And I've weighted some of the categories as well. Can you tell I've done a lot of grading in my day? Because birds symbolize freedom? Good. Good, okay. Does anyone have anything to add to what that girl just said? First is price, ranked from cheapest to most expensive. And we all know that the lowest price is never an indication of the best quality. But neither is the highest price, as we've seen some very affordable pens stand head and shoulders over pens three times the price. The Leonardo is $140 more expensive than the Asvine, but is it worth it? That's the question. Then I've got categories that mean something to me. The number of cap turns needed to uncap the pen, the overall attractiveness of the pen. This is something obviously very subjective, and I've given my score for looks. Then, is it a piston or not? The ink capacity, posted and unposted length, the longer it is posted being bad, and the longer it is unposted being good. The overall weight, posted and unposted, lighter being better. Then how many finishes are available, whether you can prime the feed from the outside, and finally, how many nib options the pen has. Some of the yes-no answers are weighted, with yes being a 2 and no being a 0. Not surprisingly, the Leonardo comes out on top, even at $150 more than the Asvine, with 28 out of 39 points. But perhaps more surprisingly is that the Asvine is only three points behind the Leonardo. Even after the spreadsheet confirmed the M800 coming in third behind the Asvine and the Leonardo, I must say my subjective feeling is that I still like the Moonman M800 Galaxy better than the Asvine P20. I think it's because of the design of the Leonardo Momento Zero is so exquisite that this very inexpensive copy especially when I've put a Leonardo nib on it. And despite the fact that it isn't a piston filler, it's still, in my mind, more attractive and a more comfortable pen. So let's put them side by side here. To my eye, the Momento Zero shape is superior to the Asvine. It has a wonderful tapering up and down asymmetrical balance that is just more elegant. And the double cap bands, I think, are more elegant and understated than the wide, heavy Greek key cap band on the Asvine. So even though my spreadsheet tells me the order of the pens, I'll override those conclusions to move the M800 to second place behind the real deal, the Leonardo Momento Zero. Now when Leonardo gets around to making a piston filler version of the Memento Zero, I'll be selling a lot of pens to get as many Memento Zero piston fillers as I can. Now we're going to look at some similar piston fillers and their respective wrenches. Okay, I've lined up a number of piston fillers with their wrenches. Let's start at the far end with the Hongdian N7 and the N6 as well. The piston fillers from Hongdian, they use the Hongdian wrench that you can ask for when you purchase the pen from your retailer. Ask for the wrench and they should supply it for you. But you have to ask. Then there's this new lemon, which I suspect is a Hongdian, and it uses the same wrench. And then we move down to the Majon P136 piston filler, and it uses this big honking thing that you can get on AliExpress to remove both the nib and the piston. And then there's three piston fillers that share the same two wrenches. I'm going to start with the Narwhal School Kill. This is a Dragonette Sapphire. The wrench that comes with it is this one. But also, this wrench you can get on AliExpress 
is for a Wingsong 699 piston filler and it fits these three pens precisely just like the, the narwhal and I'm going to skip the middle one and go to the Moonman T1 which started all the controversy a couple of years ago and it uses both the narwhal wrench and the wingsung wrench fits perfectly and of course here is the asvine p20 it uses the same hongdian and wingsung 699 wrenches and then there is the twisby this is an echo and it comes with its own wrench but you'll find that the wrench from the wingsung works on the twisby as does the hongdian wrench works on the twisby as well but it doesn't work in the other direction and then there is the leonardo grande pens and the leonardo wrench fits that piston you have to buy this wrench now i'm going to take this as vine piston filler p20 and amber is a cat to pieces for you okay here we go with the disassembly of the as vine p20 and amber is a cat remove the cap and we can first take the nib out because it unscrews and there's the unit we'll talk about that unit in a moment and let's take the piston apart open it up grab either the Hongdian or the Wingsung wrench screw the knob back down on the wrench and then it's a righty loosey lefty tidy so a reverse thread and there the unit comes out now there's no need to disassemble this any more than this you can but sometimes it gets a little bit difficult to line all these things up again so i recommend leaving the wrench on the piston and leaving these parts together one of the nice things about the asvine p20 is that that ring there is attached to the barrel so you don't wind up losing it so there are parts let's look at this nib unit for a moment this is a standard number six size nib and so you can actually pull that nib out of that collar if you want use a little bit of rubber gripping material i recommend leaving it in the barrel to get more leverage for pulling uh, but you can pull that out generally the friction fit very very tightly so i soak this in water with a drop of dawn uh, dish soap overnight and then give it a try for pulling uh, it takes quite a bit of effort to pull them out but let's look at the unit itself this should look familiar to you because this is a Moonman nib unit so you can go and buy any Moonman nib unit you want number six size and replace your nib and here I'll show you how it works here is the T1 and we're going to remove its nib and this pen is a couple three years old and you'll see that these units are identical to each other the same threads the same nozzles the same o-rings the same feeds and they will interchange with each other so there is the hasvine nib in the moonman t1 let's remove the t1's piston same left hand thread and it will go right into the asvine and there you have an asvine moon man and vice versa there you go an as moon t1 and a moon ass p20 well inquiring minds wanted to know you asked i bought both of these asvine p20s from sally's etsy shop easy buy for 26 dollars 99 us each they are available in seven colors with three nib options extra fine fine and medium now let's look at some size comparisons and here is the asvine p20 in galaxy with a leonardo momento zero in blue hawaii a moonman m800 in galaxy a narwhal school kill in a dragonette sapphire and a jinhao 100 centennial in galaxy now let's look at them posted and here they are posted you can see that the asvine has a more slender less pronounced two-step section than the momento zero or the m800 do and the asvine posts right on that piston knob which isn't recommended it also makes it very long and the jinhao 100 centennial it posts right on that blind cap 
and makes it extremely long so it's not recommended for posting and it also has a non Jinhao nib on it it has a, a broad oblique nib from italics or Mr. Pen of the UK now let's look at them unposted and here they are unposted you can see that I put a Leonardo steel number no. six size nib on my Moonman M800 making it more Leonardo like than it originally is you can get the Moonman now called Majon M800 with a steel Bach nib if you like but it increases the price my recommendation is to buy the relatively inexpensive Yovo steel nib from Leonardo they're available on applebaum.com as well uh, but buy the individual nib there uh, you have to use the Moonman nib and feed unit pull the Moonman nib and put the Leonardo in using the Moonman unit you can also do that with your Asvine P20 if you like it's the same size nib again use the Asvine nib and feed unit which as we saw from the disassembly is an identical unit to the moon man now let's look at some measurements and i'll be back with a writing sample and we're back with the writing portion of the review this is claire fontaine 90 gsm paper and this is the as vine p20 in galaxy and it has a number six size medium steel nib and let's check the wetness it's nicely wet and folks this is as smooth as glass this is possibly the smoothest Chinese nib I've ever experienced and that's right out of the box no tuning no adjusting no futzing with it and I think when I wrote with it for the first time I said ooh right out loud and the ink today is my favorite blue ink to put into a galaxy colored pen Hiroshizuku Kanpeki I'm already on my third bottle of this ink in three years so I'm using it a lot and here are some close matches to this ink from inkswatch.com as to line variation well it's a pretty stiff nip so you're not going to get much line variation at all there's little bounce to it not that any is expected and this nib makes a 0.6 millimeter line which makes it a western surprise surprise medium or a Japanese medium to broad and for some reverse writing I'm surprised it's actually very smooth very dry though and you'll see it even has it's so dry it gives a color change and for our quote And for some quick writing. And this feed has no difficulty keeping up whatsoever. So let's try out the amber as well. And here is the Asvine P20 in amber. And it has a number six size steel medium nib as well and the ink here is my favorite ink to put into an amber as a cat kind of finish and that is Dimine ancient copper and here are some close matches to this ink from inkswatch.com this ink just shades so beautifully and this nib is the same really smooth experience the only difference is that this nib is slightly smaller at 0 0.5 millimeters which makes it a western fine to medium 
or a Japanese sorry that's a Western fine and a Japanese fine to medium and it might have a bit more feedback to it but again a lovely lovely nib so what do I like and what do I not like about these fountain pens even though I overruled my spreadsheet pushing it from the second to the third place I still think this is a wonderful fountain pen both the galaxy and the amber are gorgeous finish and this price for a piston filler is a terrific bargain but what makes this even better than the first Asvine P20 I reviewed is the medium nib on both these pens. The medium nib on this Galaxy P20 writes as beautifully smooth and glassy as the nib on my Momento Zero Prunia, which is a medium Yovo steel. And the 1.5 milliliter ink capacity of the P20 rivals my Leonardo Momento Zero Grande, although nothing can rival this Jonathan Brooks Earth Magic 2 acrylic resin. Just extraordinary. But the acrylics on both the amber and the galaxy p20s are truly amazing and beautiful especially considering the sticker price of 30 dollars us and there you have it if you like this video please like and subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell to get instant notifications whenever a new video is posted and please look in the description for a link to goldspot pens as i'm now an affiliate of the online store and when you shop at goldspot using my link you'll be supporting my channel as well at no extra charge to you you can also join as a member of my channel for only 99 cents a month and I guarantee I'll answer your comments in the comment section and you'll get cool emojis badges and sneak peek unboxing videos as well and that just leaves it for me to say thank you for watching and that's all she wrote this.